Now, let's just talk about the Queen's Jubilee and a particular ceremony that she did at Windsor. And when I saw her lighting up the beacons and I see all the lights form a shape of a DNA strand, I says, okay, now, I definitely see the agenda clearly. I definitely see what is about to happen, right? They are not hiding. And when I see the lights move on into a tree, which takes me to the tree of life, I realize it's all over. Understand that what they were doing in the days of Noah, in the days of Egypt, the days of Babylon, they are about to do it in today's time right a lot of people cannot see what is about to happen due to their education due to what they look like um, and due to their religion right this is something that a lot of people won't see a lot of people will be conned and a lot of people will be tricked and that is why they say in the end the bible say there will be weeping and moaning and gashing of teeth because a lot of people is not going to believe right they they don't know how to react when they realize how much they have been deceived and they're not gonna understand how much information is out here right these people are not hiding anything they are exposing the agendas they are showing you and it is beyond me that a handful of people can deceive millions it's beyond me that someone can show you and tell you in HD what they intend to do and you still don't believe them and we're not talking about people who are uneducated people who can't read or, and read and write we're talking about educated people people that you'd expect to be very smart right and they are unable to see what is about to happen because everything is conspiracy theories the Bible is a book of allegory. It's a book of fairy tales, right? Well, soon and very soon, all those fairy tales will be your nightmare, right? Because the days of Babylon, Egypt, and Noah is about to happen. And this life, this deception is all about mixing and mingling the seed, destroying the most High's creation, right? These fallen angels, it's unbelievable it's unbelievable the deception it's unbelievable how malicious and wicked and disrespectful they are it's unbelievable right it's not about them wanting a family it's not about them wanting to be loved it's not about them wanting to have sex or to experience it they are being malicious destructive wicked nasty disrespectful right no matter what angles you look on it it's just wicked right it's it's hard to defend them in any shape or form because it's not about them having families having sex getting the experience it's not about that it's all about being wicked right they are trying to destroy humanity and a lot of individuals will be having these hybrid babies, right? These hybrid babies are getting ready to be born here on earth, right? A lot of you are going to see the things from mythology coming from your wombs, right? Because you have been seeded already. And you need to understand that it's not just having sex. Back in Babylon, ancient Egypt, they could change your form without you having sex. Right? Understand what is about to happen. The mixing and mingling of the seed. And it's unbelievable that these people can show you and tell you what they're about to do. And you clap and you applaud and you drink and you eat and you dance. Right? The Bible tells us that in the end there will be weeping and moaning and gashing of teeth. Right? The deception is real. And the technology that they have is mind-blowing. Nothing new under the sun. Right? 
These are the things that they were doing during Babylon, during Egypt, during Noah's time and beyond. Right? Nothing new. It is all about corrupting the seed of man. It's all about destroying humanity. And for all of you out there that is in communication with these fallen ones, thinking that they are your friend, they are not. If they betray their own family, if they betray their own, what is to stop them from betraying you? Right? What is to stop them? Now, I do understand that these fallen angels and their offsprings can be very, very charming. Right? Very charming, very convincing when they want something from you. Right? When they want to put you into a trap. Right? But understand, they are not your friend. And nothing is too late. Nothing is too big for the Most High Creator. Right? He locked them up for a reason. That was their chance to prove themselves. And they don't even realize that they have been played. They have been played. Right? Because by locking them up, putting them aside, it was a time for them to reflect on what they have done it was a time for them to realize that it's not worth it. But instead of reflecting, instead of being repentant, they decide to carry on their own agendas, reaching out to man, reaching out to their bloodlines, giving them power, giving them money and position, right? To go out and carry on their agenda to destroy humanity, the mixing and mingling of the seed, right seek the face of the most high while you can things are gonna get really rough as i say glory be to the most high